building a new head sail. We were actually supposed to do this in Vancouver before we set sail, but of course it was one of those things that just didn't get finished. So um, yeah, we're in beautiful Mexico La Paz. And we're gonna spend our day in the storage space. Eric is unwrapping all the Gacron. Now that technology evolved in the sail industry, most cells are designed by software and computer cut. The panels are marked and pre-cut. The draft, twist, entry and exit curve are already calculated for maximum performance. You just have to assemble them following the instruction. Now you can make your own cell by roughly 50% of the price, and that's what we decided to do. We bought a kit from a company called Cellrite. They had tons of YouTube videos, tutorials online, and inspired us to give it a shot. Sailrite supplied us with all the hardware and was super helpful answering all the questions. So it's day two here on our uh, sail loft. So that looks like nothing, but uh, this is pretty much most of the panel roll in, uh, in one. Carolyn here, and this is the rest of the sail, and that's pretty much the whole sail right here. So it's looking good, um, day two. And we're just gonna finish this stitch here. One last line, it's getting pretty heavy, but this is a lot of Dacron. So, Caroline just want pizza. And yeah, we're expecting another day or two. And uh, hopefully the sale is gonna be done. And on day two, we just have to get some webbing. And uh, besides that, I think we have everything to finalize it. So we're gonna catch up with uh, some people from X-Wing and maybe have some pizza, hopefully. And I think next week we'll probably be gonna be on the hard. We have to pull the rudder again because there's a little bit of uh, play. So that was fixed back in Vancouver, but it seems like we have to, it wasn't done properly, so we have to do it again. So yeah. How are you, How are you feeling? I'm pretty sore. I feel like an old man. Me too. I feel like we just aged a little bit. Our back hurts. I think we uh, deserve pizza. <gasps> pizza. Yeah. Pizza. It's all worth it. After a few days of hard labor, we got invited by some new friends to go visit a small Mexican fishing village located in the Sea of Cortez. La Ventana was discovered by kite surfer 15 years ago. It became the perfect kite surfing spot because of its steady wind. We went there in hope of finding hot springs. We didn't have much luck, but it was great relaxing on the beach and cracking a few beers with friends. And by the time we realized they were right in front of us, it was low tide and the pool were totally dry. It was just great to get out of storage space and rest our back for the day. So it's day four on the cell making project, so just work on the leash right now, and uh, it's a bit challenging. Just do it by yourself. Kona is not very much help right now. <laughs> I don't know, I have to keep an eye on her because she keeps running away. Well, not running away, she's there around, but she's exploring around. She's mostly being a good girl, but she knows I'll tie her up otherwise, so she's better too. So you can see here, we are installing the left tape that will be sliding into the roller further track. The right tension is key for a nice smooth finish. So I was in town yesterday trying to find some of that uh, webbing in town. Uh, <laughs> spent all day, no chance, no, nobody had it. So we ended up having, uh, I don't know if you can see, but this is pretty much um, a car seat belt <laughs> fabric. And this is pretty much up to spec, so it's a bit larger, but I think if I fold it, it'll be pretty much the length I need. I just hope the sewing machine can handle the thickness, but we'll see. This is the only thing I could find. Besides that, there will need some nylon webbing that, that was definitely not, not enough or strong enough. So um, we're almost, uh, almost done. Um, we have here to sell, so I have to do um, the head webbing, the head ring, and after that the tack, do the umbrella sacrificial cover, 
the foam loft and the head cell is done. And after that, I just have to build a new cell bag for the main cell and the new laser jack. We'll be ready to go. So, getting pretty excited. I think we're about two days away of finishing the main cell. So, yeah, finger crossed. Are you enjoying cell making as much as we are? fine for now is this and I think it will be more than good enough it's just another cell maker will see this a card see seat belt They're like what the hell is that doing there but uh, I think that will do the job I think that will be more than good enough it will be about 15,000 pounds of braking strength which we can probably pull the boat with that <laughs> what are we doing now we are cutting the umbrella which is going to be the sacrificial cover on our furling jib. So I'm cutting nine panels that are 20 by 60 inches. How many did you do yet? I've done eight. This is the last one for the leech. And then when I do the foot, there will be four panels. You I sure? think 16, 16 by 60. trying to fit this entire sail into this little but big storage space. So we are on day six, we think, starting to lose track. But I think we've done all the corner hardware and now we are doing the sacrificial umbrella. So Eric is uh, behind me here, getting ready to secure them in place. Yeah. Very exciting. Uh, there was a huge debate as to whether we were gonna use UV protected Dacron or umbrella. Uh, we went into a sale shop downtown La Paz and the sale makers were like, you're not going to put uh, some umbrella on your frilling jib, are you? Like with complete disgust. So it got me a little paranoid and I went on the Women Who Sail Facebook group and luckily they uh, eased my mind, our minds actually, uh, and it was hands down, Sunbrella was a winner. Uh, it was gonna last much longer. Sure, the UV Dacron would, you know, maybe be lighter and give you better performance, but we're not racers and we just don't care. So we'd rather just have the Sunbrella last us 10 to 20 years instead of two to three years, what I've heard from people who have had UV Dacron. So Sunbrella it is. Any thoughts, Eric? Damn right. Damn right. Damn right. Getting Sunbrella to stay down is a little bit of a bitch. It's taking a lot of basting tape, a lot of Super 7-7 seven seven glue. Okay. There it goes. People is that wondering, is that the best way to do it? Of course, of course it is. The thing with the sailing world is that there's always a million different opinions. And there will always be someone who's telling you that you're doing it wrong or you can do it better. Sailors are incredibly opinionated. Okay. Including this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, the foot umbrella is taking us a little longer than expected because our handy little machine keeps um, having issues. I keep breaking treads. And I don't know, like I polish all of these here and I keep breaking treads. And this is why they pay the sail makers the big bucks. Eric is getting increasingly cranky. Yeah. So at this stage of the game, would you recommend people at home to sew their own sails? If you're uh, 
a broke ass sailor, it's a good way to uh, have new sails for much cheaper. And they'll be as good as, uh, as you want to make them. This is uh, day seven of the sail making. So we almost finished the sacrificial cover and I think tomorrow we'll just have to do the inside of the hem of the sacrificial cover and the foam lock and I think the jib is done. So we'll just have to do the telltale too and be ready to rock. All right, we are doing the last hem of the umbrella on the leech side. And the hem is super small. We don't want it to get in the way of the leech line. How are we doing so far, Eric? Not bad, just slow progress. <sighs> need the car after this. Massages. So here, I'm simply measuring every 2.9 feet and mark it where to reduce the foam loft, proportionate to the sail width. The foam loft is used to allow the sail to retain its shape while it's partially rolled in the roller furler and reduce the bagginess of the sail. That reduces sealing and improves performance when the sail is rolled. There are several different solutions to accomplish this, including sawing ropes into the sail, but while I was asked to design those sails, I honestly didn't know shit about sail making. The foam loft is great at accomplishing this task, but apparently doesn't last as long as rope loft. We are on final day of sail making. Woo woo! Uh, so we're gonna finish up the jib, and then Eric is going to sew a new lazy jack bag for the main sail that we sewed together last year, because the one that we have right now is too small and it's breaking apart. Finishing touches. Eric is using a. It's a palm. Show me. So, yeah, so pretty much you put the. Uh, it's a different way to do all of it, but my favorite one is like this. And I kind of push it with the palm. Grab the other way. There we go. And that's because there's so many patches here that it's really thick to get through on a sail machine. Oh, a sail uh, machine. Yeah. Well, there's seven layers of uh, heavy offshore dacron. Plus, we have those uh, car seat belt webbing that we use. I'll see the other side so far. So. Oh, you're not putting leather on this side? No. Don't need to. I wanted to, but. I want to be sailing. So. You mean you don't want to spend more time in this beautiful storage space? Well, you know, it's lovely, but no. So tired. But look at this nice telltale that I put in. And there's a whole bunch more down there. Kona is also sick of being here. So will we ever build a sail again? Um, I can only speak for myself, and the answer is a definite no. What do you mean no? Never again, sorry. I'm never, I'm never building a sail again. Pretty sweet, isn't it? Oh, it looks pretty sexy. This is the other side. Just finished a few last touches. So I just did the, this nice wrapping. I still have some leather, so I thought I would probably use that. Did the clue here, and uh, yeah, 
just have fun. This is what happens when you don't have to pay a uh, hundred dollars an hour to somebody to make your sale. You can do some little details that you want to see. Just a little kitty. You're just a little baby. Just when I thought all the sewing was over, we decided that, hey, let's make a new Lazy Jack sale pack. So here we are. I think we're about six hours into this project. We're racing against time. It's our last day here. But it's looking good, eh? Yeah, like check out, check out the stitching. That's yeah, really it's nice. Like, see all this perfectly. Uh, yeah. Anyway, just so. to give you an example, this was the old bag that the previous owner did. Sorry, Steve. No, uh, no harm meant, but uh, yeah. Right, there was a uh, way for improvement. Yes, there was room for improvement, and uh, now we're gonna have a nice new Lazy Jack bag that's gonna nicely protect this. Bean sale that we built last year, and it'll be easier to hoist and take down, so it's exciting. The craziest thing is happening right now, it's raining. Like, actually raining. I haven't seen rain like this since a long time. Wow. So now that we're done the jib and the new Lazy Jack, we're gonna haul out on the hard, do some bond work. So the um, two, three days uh, adventure to the boat yard um, just got, uh, we just hit seven days now, so a week and still not done. So we have at least another three days or so. So we're at the boat yard here in La Paz, Mexico. I'm just waiting for the, um, the resin to dry so it get nice and solid because it's not that warm today, so it's just uh, still soft. I don't know if it's normal. I'm crossing my finger and hope it is. We need to, this thing to be solid. We uh, did a few days ago, and um, the guy was new, so he didn't really know what he was doing. So I actually had to walk him through the uh, things to do, and had to redo the old job. Took a full day to pull the rudder out. So we'll see how things go. Keep you updated. In the next episode, the boat work continues. It's a first time celebrating Carnival in Mexico. Caroline leave for good. 
we finally get Black Dragon back in the water after almost three weeks in the yard. Kona desperately wants to jump and swim with the dolphins, and we continue sailing north at Sea of Cortez with new crew. Thank you so much for all the patrons to make this adventure possible. Please make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up.